thing okay. on this other side and uh, one thing uh, on this uh, other uh, side. Unfortunately, yes. I wish I had known when I was coming here that I have a friend of mine called Mr. Kyoko. He sells cars. He told me the day before yesterday that he lost a client by simply the new act being implemented at the port of Mombasa where 460,000 was actually added onto the car. Sam, if, 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 if you can agree, next time I come, I'll bring you that invoice. <laughs> and you'll see what is being implemented. Our brothers here are in KKR lands. You know, KKR lands is, is so big, sometimes they don't even know what their government is doing. All right? But let's be very practical, Sami, and, and be realistic and say this. One of the criticism that the KK Alliance had labeled against President Uhuru forever and ever, close to the five years I think they had disagreed uh, with President William Ruto, mm. is how Uhuru never observed court orders. And that is exactly what we have now. That the president, who actually was supposed to be a law and order president, on most of these things, he's, a, he's actually repeating exactly what Uhuru used to do. I don't know whether when somebody becomes a president, they find this difficulty and they want to consolidate more power to themselves. And yet when you listen to many people discuss this matter, they'll tell you that once you have a good president, he should be able to surround himself with clever people. The good lawyers whom he's supposed to be having right now should be advising him what is constitutional and what is not. Mm. When Kindiki Kithure, a man we highly respect on, from both sides of the aisle, stands up in public and says that nobody can hold demonstrations, he knows he's actually going against the he's constitution. He's an ICC lawyer. And he's an ICC lawyer. <laughs> then the other issue that is coming up some right now, then these are the issues that we are trying to raise with our brothers. We should never head back to where we were in 2007, 2008. Mm. Can you imagine, you're talking about after 2008, now again, that prosecutors from the ICC are landing in Nairobi and they're beginning investigations of people being killed and murdered because of the riots and demonstrations, or rather because of political reasons. Can you imagine we are going back there? And this is the point we are telling some of our colleagues. The truth is, you may not have been directly involved in that exercise, because some of my colleagues are really quite young. But the reality is, Sami, if we are not willing to save our country, me, I'm going to tell my brothers here, mm -hmm. all these stories we are going to talk about, whether you implemented the act and everything, I would like to ask my brothers, especially the younger, politicians who are in the KK Alliance and some of the ones who are experienced to try and persuade their friends so that they don't put the president under siege. Right now, President Ruto is under siege. He can't make a decision. He's being told what, what, by what the, do you mean by that? The, the members of parliament from Central have already started threatening him. If you have a handshake with Raila, we'll walk away. Uh, some of them are telling him, you came, you are the one who told our Raila, our people, how Raila is a demon. Now how do we go and sell is him again? Is a handshake? They, uh, say what? Is there any plan to have a handshake? Absolutely none. So Our colleagues are just fearing we don't want we don't to want have to. a handshake. What we want to do, there are about five major items that must be done. Mm. Number one, can we adopt the Krigler report on the elections which are bungled, which were stolen in 2007, 2008? Number two, can we agree on how we are going to select the commissioners who are going to run the IIBC? Accept the best pr principles. You can allow the church. You can allow who? Look for the best agreeable way on how we can actually have these commissioners. Number three, there is nothing wrong in us having an opposition, a position, a position a leader of opposition coming into parliament with an office and is actually participating in our politics from the National Assembly, all our leaders of the opposition are strangers. They're all walking in the streets. This is Raila, this is Oparanya, you're talking about Kalonzo, you're talking about all these politicians have no place to go and talk about their issues. Are those controversial issues some? No. Can we make sure that when elections are being called and we are, and we are calculating them, look at the position of MCA, look at the position of MP, look at the position of governor and senator. It, they are never controversial. Why is it that we only have controversy when it comes to presidential elections? Senator Onyonka, let's unpack what you just said. Yes. That um, the president is being held hostage by members of parliament from Central. Yes, that's what we believe. I presume including Honorable Andeto here. Yes. Uh, um, <laughs> yes. You'll defend yourself if you're not. Yes. So, but he has to say... That's why you see some of them beginning to talk about yes, one no, man, one you're vote. You're saying that they're yes. telling him, yes. if you have a handshake with this man, yes. then there will be problems. Because Absolutely. Because the one who came and told us... He is a bad man. Exactly. Yes. 
So does that presume there's a possibility of a handshake? No, it doesn't. So why is it an issue? Sam, in politics, you don't talk to your friends. You talk to your enemies. So why is it there an is issue? There's no reason why Ruto cannot talk with Raila without the, the KK Alliance team starting this narrative about, oh, now we are going to have handshake. Oh, you know, Raila is desperate. He wants to have cars and bodyguards and outriders. That's not the nonsense. And therefore, our country is sick. You need people to sit and diagnose what's sick with us so that we can then come up with solutions to solve the sickness. And therefore, Politically, Senator, that is. And therefore, Senator, if the problem is not that there is going to be a handshake, yes. why, why would he be held hostage? It is because what I'm explaining to you is the information, you know, on both sides, we, we get information from uh -huh. our different groups. The president, as of Friday, was actually considering having a discussion with Raila to ask him, what are your basic minimums, which we can sit and, and give an okay to so that we can cool down the temperature so that we can proceed. And? From Friday until Monday, also, you remember we were getting these reports. That's why he called the, when have you ever seen a president call a parliamentary group meeting to state house to go and discuss about riots and demonstrations? It means this is a legitimate crisis. And the crisis is people were telling him, can you tell us whether you're going to sign something with Raila because we don't want to sign something with Raila? And the point is... How do you know that, Senator? Uh, Sam, uh, these are things you can know. You know, we work with, we know we have PG. friends in UDA. Okay, Some um, of them are friends in, in, in Azimio. I mean, okay, Sam. PG. Oh, Honorable Andeso, you come from Kenya Kwanzaa yes. Alliance. 